Hi there, it's Lee here for iMind Blocks. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be taking a look at exactly what's inside this box. I'll give you a clue, it's something to do with Bitcoin. So what I'm going to do now is a unboxing of this um, and then show you how it can help with our Bitcoin and crypto efforts. So let's jump over to that now. Open it. Damn it. Wonder whether maybe I should just uh, prep these before I actually do them. Okay. We're making some progress now. Okay. <clears throat> so the part is just packaging. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? It is a Ledger Nano S. And um, yeah, the guys actually at Ledger, um, I contacted them and said, um, I basically make some YouTube videos. Um, would it be possible to get a sample of your product? And they said, yeah, no problem. We'll send you one over. So I was really pleased with that. So let's actually take a look at the actual product. So the Ledger Nano S is actually a crypto hardware wallet and it's actually my first time um, dealing with uh, one of these. So let's open up and take a look inside. Should be a lot easier this time. Yeah, so like I said, I've not actually, obviously I've got quite a bit of experience with uh, crypto and Bitcoin in general, but this will be the actual first time I've actually used a hardware wallet. It's in quite a nice uh, box there. So it kind of reminds me a bit like the iPhone type boxes a little bit. Um, so it just says on the back, uh, it's a smart card based hardware wallet and connects to your computer or smartphone to verify and confirm your transactions. Um, you can use it for Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, FIDO authentication, and uh, it's obviously a USB device. So let's give a little wiggle and have a look inside. Okay, so it, from the actual top, it just really looks like kind of a shiny USB key. It's about the same sort of size as a regular a USB key. Um, a little bit chunkier, I would say. It's like a chunky kind of a pen drive. Um, but let's kind of slide it out and we'll have a look. So one of the features is uh, obviously you've got like a protective metal case. I'm not sure how that comes across in camera. Um, but you've also got a quite small um, LCD screen and that's going to tell you various information about the actual transactions. It's got your uh, mnemonic seed words. Um, on the top there as well there's also two buttons and obviously I'm not sure at this moment exactly how they interact. And on the back you've just got some CE safety sort of uh, logos and just says what the model is. Um, on the back it's got some, I guess it's Latin or something. Uh, I'm not, I'm not really even sure whether I should try to pronounce it, but it says varies in numerous. I don't know exactly what that means. I'm sure someone can translate or I might be able to find a translation and uh, put it in. So this is the actual Nano S wallet. Sorry, just noticed on the actual sort of uh, end here. I'm not sure how that comes on the camera, but you've got a small USB. I think it's a USB type C connector. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think that's what it looks like. So that's the actual hardware wallet there. Uh, let's take a look inside, just some foam padding. Okay, so we've got some more bits inside. We've got a, a little strap there, just so obviously we can sort of attach it to the wallet and keep it safe. It's got quite a long uh, cord on it. I'm not sure that might be a little bit overkill. Um, but probably more likely, I think most people would probably just attach it to their keychain or something like that. There is actually a smaller uh, version. So you've just got a, that for obviously attach it to your keys, um, a little cord for the same reason. So that's actually quite useful. So you've got a long one, um, just the actual ring and also a short kind of a keychain lead as well. Um, and then you've got the actual USB uh, lead itself. 
Uh, the lead looks quite good quality, um, just standard USB connection on one end and like I say the uh, smaller connection on the other. It's got a little bit of, uh, I think it's just actually like a protective cover uh, just over the end there. Um, let's have a look inside here, so just like a little case in. So we've got some uh, information, we've got a getting started sheet, a uh, little card, and we also have a recovery uh, card as well. So the getting started, it just basically says go to this uh, web address, and then on the actual recovery sheet, it's got, um, this is where you would put down your recovery phrase, um, so you can write down the actual words and then obviously keep this in a safe location, um, obviously somewhere safe and secure, and that will be used for recovery of the actual hardware wallet. So that's it for everything that's uh, in the actual box there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is um, actually connect it to the computer um, and I'll share that sort of experience with you. We'll go through that whole uh, process of setting up the actual hardware wallet and see exactly how it works. Okay, so just a little part to add in here. This is actually the end of this particular video section. So originally I planned to make a unboxing and then a whole um, setup video series but it's actually just ended up being a much longer process than I originally thought so I'm actually going to break it down into segments. So the part that you've just watched now is just the first part which is the unboxing sort of um, sequence um, but immediately after this video or possibly tomorrow uh, I will upload the second part which will be the actual um, setup configuration, the whole sort of a wallet uh, usage and all that kind of stuff. Um, so like I say yeah it's two part, first part you've just watched and the second part will be uploaded shortly so I just wanted to make you aware of that uh, rather than you guys feeling like you've been um, kind of a cut off uh, part way through the video. So I'll leave it there.